Hi ladies, welcome back to a Makeup Monday. I wanted to talk today about my favorite four step, is it? So we've got primer, foundation, our concealer, and our setting spray. So about a four step process that I do for people that have really, really dry skin, for people that have normal to dry, normal to oily, and then for super, super oily skin. So these are kind of the things that have been my go-tos for a long time. I don't know about you, but sometimes I get into makeup ruts with myself, with my clients, all that kind of stuff, because I keep going back to the things that I'm comfortable with, that I feel safe with. And sometimes that's a great thing. You find something that's wonderful, why fix it if it's not broken? But there are so many companies out there. There are so many companies that are stepping up their game or that are popping out from nowhere. And it is important to try new things. For me, these have been my go-tos for the last few years. I have heard buzz about other things and I'm excited to try, but I wanted to let you know these are my tried and true foundations, primers, setting spray, under eye concealers that I use on a regular basis on myself and on clients. First, let's start with if you have super, super dry skin. For dry skin, obviously, I'm gonna say this with every single skin type, what's your skincare routine? What are you doing to hydrate your skin? What are you doing to moisturize that skin? What are you doing to exfoliate that skin? Because anything that you do over here, if you're not doing it well, or if you're leaving things out, or if you're not taking care of your skin, I know this from, example, uh, from experience, your makeup's just not gonna look as great as it could. It's not going to be amazing. If you have dry patches on your skin, then obviously the things that I showed to you today for oily skin, are going to go, they're gonna make it magnified times 10. Um, it's gonna cling onto them and it's gonna look terrible. So, are you hydrating? Are you moisturizing? Are you doing all of the things, okay? Skincare is not the thing that I am the best at. So I probably won't be your go-to person for skincare. There are lots of other people that can help you with that. For me, Let's start with the dry skin. My favorite, favorite, favorite primer to use for people, as I hit myself in the face with it, is Crunchy. I love it, love it, love it. Let's read. It is certified organic, it's vegan, it's toxin-free. That's kind of incredible. As I look about my makeup, as I see all of the things that I've been using for years and years and years, it is daunting to me to try to make a lifestyle switch the way that I have with my food to this. I'm getting there, but it's really, really hard for me and I feel very overwhelmed. So when I find a product that is great, um, as far as ingredients are concerned, and that will work well for what I need it to do, I am over the moon excited. Crunchy.com is where you can find this primer. It is a little bit more pricey. I guarantee it's worth it. $48 is the price point. I love this. It honestly feels like a moisturizer, but it is also a wonderful, wonderful primer. So I love it. It comes in a little pump like this. It lasts a very long time. A little bit goes a long way. I love this primer. After I'm done with that, I personally like to use the Frankie Rose. Is this the most moisturizing foundation out there? No, but what I have found is that when I use a good primer, when I use a good concealer, and when I use a good setting spray for this, it works for my dry clients, okay? <clears throat> so this is a mattifying one slightly, but it can work when using. <laughs> one of these days I'm gonna be able to get so grammatically correct, you guys are gonna like fall off your chairs. When using the crunchy primer with this, I love it. Now, another makeup artist friend of mine taught me that if that's not enough, if someone says I'm really, really dry, I love to use the L'Oreal True Match. Find their shade, drop a couple drops into it, it makes it more moisturizing, which is awesome. I have also found, I always say it wrong, the Cogendo. This one is an aqua um, foundation and it is quite, Amazing. This is going to make you feel like you've just had a facial. It's wanting to give you that look. It is infused with products that are going to just give you that hydration that you want. It is 
a lot more pricey though. This comes in at $77, but you can also get samples for them for like four bucks. I don't think that there's shipping and shipping costs involved in that. You can find your perfect shade. Shades can be tricky with this line. They don't have as dark of shades as I'd like them to have, but they're working on it. Um, but yeah, they are amazing for hydrating your skin and again, get samples. Samples will always be your best friend in order to figure out your color and to figure out if you like it without spending a ton of money, okay? Sorry, I forgot to tell you, the Frankie Rose, um, this one's 36, 36. The under eye concealer that I use, I really do like Frankie Rose. This is the Our Little Secret. This will come in at $25. I love this concealer. I think it's wonderful. This is one of their lighter shades. It's very, very um, pigmented and it won't dry out the under eye like some other concealers can. However, for a drugstore find, this one is very, very moisturizing. The only problem that I see with this concealer is that if you do too much, it gets really, really cakey. So try to thin it out, especially underneath the eyes. We don't want that awful texture underneath the eyes of like super, super wrinkly, reptile-esque looking skin, okay? So when using this product, which really is hydrating, do that kind of stuff. Now this one will come in more at like 10.95. Is that 10.95? No, it's not. Sorry, I wrote these all down like really, really funny. Oh, $13, so about $12.99 is what you can get this for at the drugstore, so it's an awesome, awesome option. Now, to set the makeup, I love Urban Decay sprays. Some people say they smell like alcohol or whatever. Well, they're alcohol-based, but I love them. I think that they work super, super well. These are about $33, but you can get the trial size um, right here. I don't think they have a trial size of the chill, though. Chill is going to be if you need moisture, if you don't want it to be a sucked in and dry your face out. So chill is for you. Again, all of these products can be linked in my Amazon store. So go to my profile, click on it, Amazon shop, boom, you're there. You'll see all of these products and you'll be able to grab them from there, okay? Now let's go into normal combination kind of skin. My favorite foundation to use uh -huh, is the Frankie Rose. Frankie Rose to me just takes the cake. The only time that this doesn't work for me is if someone is just ridiculously, excessively oily. So I love this one for all across the board. To prime the skin, Emma is my favorite. If you have normal combination skin, I love this primer. This is infused with natural ingredients, which is awesome. The price point is ridiculous at $24.95. However, if you go to Sense of Style, which again, this by itself has its own link in my profile. And if you use the code CLASSY, you can get 20% off of this. So save, save money. If you come to one of my classes, they are even more ridiculously discounted to buy there, okay? So love, love, love this primer. It goes on super satiny, super silky, and then it dries matte. I love it so much. Okay, so there's that. Again, I would still use this one um, underneath the eyes. I think it's fantastic. And then for your spray, you're gonna use the all-nighter. This one does come in a trial. So it's 33 for the big bottle, but then you can get a smaller one for 13. 13, 15, sorry. I'm gonna mess you up on all the things. All right, so now super, super oily, okay? Super, super oily is tricky because you need to exfoliate. You do need to be trying to hydrate your skin as opposed to moisturizing your skin. But these are the ones that I kind of gravitate toward, okay? Um, I think first and foremost, primer. Now the primer that I have found that works the best is the Mattifier. This one is the smoother, but it comes in this, but I just ran out of it. It's from Estee Lauder and it's called the Mattifier. You can get these samples for free. Go to the counter, say I've heard, you know, I have oily skin, I've heard that this is kind of good, can you help me out so I can try it out before I drop a pretty penny. This one, the primer, the full size would be $38 just on its own. So definitely get 
a trial size one and see what you think. <clears throat> now, going along with Estee Lauder, this is tried, this is true. So many people have used this. So many people have reviewed this for good reason. Now, if you have dry skin, this will wreak havoc on your skin. If you have normal-ish skin, you cannot wear this every day. I wear this when I go back home to California and when we go to Disneyland, and I want my makeup to stay put all day long. My face gets a little bit more oily back home. Here in Utah, not so much. So this is what I go to. And then when I get home, I definitely take it off and hydrate my skin. I moisturize. I try to make sure that I take care of my skin after using this product. But if you have really, really oily skin, this is going to be like a godsend for you. It's going to be amazing, okay? So, excuse me, this one comes in at a whopping $43. There are some that could be a lot more expensive than this, but $43, but again, Go and get color matched by someone at the counter. This is a 10 day sample. Get this, use it, see if you like it. Free 99, guys, you can't beat that. So trials, again, they will save your life. Another one that is great to use is a tint eye doll from Lancome, 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 tomato, tomato, you decide. But this one's really, really great. Anything that says like 24 hour wear, People with dry skin are not going to want as much unless you use a great primer like the Crunchy. Um, this one can do well with the mattifying primer that we talked about from Estee Lauder. And this one's also very buildable, which is nice. And this can get the job done. But if you are like ridiculously oily, I still say go with that. I have not met many people that are very oily under here, but I have met a few. I would absolutely never, never use this. This is the Tarte Shape Tape, unless you have that issue. This is so drying. This will suck up that moisture. It will not let anything kind of come between you and a perfect face. I only use this when I'm doing transformations and I really wanna glob it on and I want to make everything look a certain way. Again, do not use, I don't care how old you are. I know that teens and young 20 year olds can get away with wearing kind of whatever they want. That doesn't mean they should. This is extremely drying. I got it because everybody was raving about it and it has great coverage. And look at that, I mean, that's almost bigger than like my nose, but it is, it's really drying. So I would not use this until, unless you have that issue of super, super oily underneath the eyes. And then D-Slick. D-Slick is another one that does come in the trial size. You can always find these. Um, I feel when you're going through the checkout line at Ulta, they always have like the little samples and little things. So if you ever want to try something, definitely start there. See if they have free samples and then go with the trial size over the large just to see if you like it. But this does, seriously, this holds up. This when sprayed and used in tandem with these products, holy cannolis. Now I've never needed to use powder on top of these foundations. You can, I mean, bring it with you, bring some like a, the rice paper, the blotting squares with you if you feel you need to. I personally don't have excessively, excessively oily skin though, so I've never had to do that. I've never had to set that with powder or these things with powder, okay? Having said that, when you go from the most moisturizing foundation, I feel like you can manipulate it and you have more time to work with it. You can dot it all over your face and just kind of go. Do not dot these on your face. If you have oily skin, these are gonna set really, really fast. So I wouldn't dot it all over and then go do something else breathe, blink, anything. What I do with these is I kind of stay in one area and buff it into someone, and then I go to the next area and buff it in, then I go to the next area and buff it in. You just don't have a lot of working time with these, or else you'll dot it all over your face, and then you go to swirl it all in, and you'll still see where you put the original dot. Not a good look. I wouldn't recommend it personally. All right, so any questions, leave them in the comments below. Again, there are thousands of foundations out there. I've heard really great things about the um, Cover FX. I think it was Cover FX, yes. Cover FX Powder Play Foundation um, for super oily skin. I haven't used it though. Um, but yeah, thousands of foundations, concealers, primers out there. 
I wanted to share with you the ones that I have been, boom, these are my go-tos. I've tried other things and I keep coming back to this. So again, any comments, leave them down below and I will see you in the next video.